What is going on everybody, Dino Rosser here, and today we're going to discuss the game of the decade from the VGAs last night. Now, the gameplay I decided to put up is obviously Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. Uh, it's, I'm Frieza, I'm destroying the Z Fighters of Namek because uh, Frieza is the most sadistic villain in the history of villains. I said that. If you want to argue me with that, leave a comment below and I'll challenge you and I'll explain to you why I, uh, I think he's the most sadistic and most evil villain of all time. But, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the game of the decade because last night, Half-Life 2 won the game of the decade at the VGAs. And not that I'm hating on it because I love Half-Life. I mean, if you follow me on Twitter or, or just know me in person, you know how much of a Half-Life 2 fanboy I am. I mean, I'm still over here hoping for Half-Life 3. I was actually like really, 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 really thinking that, like hoping and thinking that Gabe was gonna come out last night and just like flash a 3 or something and then it was gonna be like a, you know, like a signal that 3 was coming, but it didn't, broke my heart. But that's not the point. The point is I love Half-Life. I spent a lot of time on Half-Life in my life. I'm ready for Half-Life Episode 3. Um, and so, I love Half-Life, so I'm glad Half-Life won. Uh, from those games, you know what, I think from that list, I would have picked Half-Life 2. Let me think, so it was Shadow Colossus, Portal were like my favorite ones from that list. Yeah, no, I would definitely pick Half-Life 2 from that list. But what I actually really want to argue is not just a, a list, a small condensed list of games to choose from. I want to, um, debate overall in the last 10 years, what, would the, what was the best game to come out. So. Anytime between 2002 and 2012, 2012, 2012, yeah, for some reason I, my brain just said no. Um, I want you to tell me which game you think should have deserved a spot and why. Now, even though I like the fact that Half-Life 2 won, I wouldn't have put Half-Life 2 up there for one reason. And that reason is because Skyrim. Yes, that's right, I said it. Skyrim should have won Game of the Decade. And the thing that actually kind of upset me was the fact that it wasn't on the nominee list. Um, I mean, I understand the game came out a year ago, and it would be kind of unfair to put a game that's that young against all these other veterans. But, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, do, do you remember... Wow, I said I mean a thousand times. I mean, at least I caught myself. Um, but do you remember the first time you played Skyrim when you were on that line to get executed and Dragon came out and just from there, the next thing you know, 400 hours of your life was gone? Yeah, that, that, like that itself tells you something. I mean, I put a lot of hours into Skyrim and I regret nothing. As far as Half-Life, I spent a good, you know, a couple hours playing Half-Life. I mean, I went back and replayed it a few times. But I mean, the replay value that Skyrim offered, the freedom that Skyrim offered, like the ability to just do anything you want is the reason why Skyrim, to me, deserves a win. And, I don't know, maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, maybe I'm just a, just a stupid 10-year-old fanboy with a, a, a deep voice, which I, I don't know. I, am I? I don't know, I can't tell. But what I want to know is, do you think that Skyrim should have won over any of the games? Do you think Skyrim should have been on the list? Right, matter, actually, you know what, let's get, get, let's get rid of these lists, because lists are stupid, because it limits our choice and freedom and um, our ability to just basically uh, make a choice. So what I want to know is, uh, what game do you think should have actually won uh, the game of the decade last night, and uh, why? Make sure you add why. And also, uh, if you think that I'm stupid for wanting to pick Skyrim over Half-Life 2, leave a comment below as well, and you know we'll, we'll go back and forth with the debate. Because again, I just want to you know feel some interaction and um, you know just basically pick everyone's brain into seeing what they like. Um, Cause I thought about it last night, I was like, if I had to pick one game, what game would have, and Skyrim came first, and like usually, you know, before Skyrim days, I could have easily been like, damn, I have like, you know, maybe top 5, top 10 or something, but not one. But the fact that Skyrim came from just like, like that, it, it says something. So, you know what, I'm, I'm sticking by my choice, Skyrim to me is the game of the decade. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go play it right now, JK no I'm not, because I'm visiting home right now, I don't have my Xbox, look at this dodging, look at this dodging. Oh, I ended up failing. Um, but yeah. Uh, leave a comment below with your game of the decade and why. And if you want to challenge any of the things I've said, you know, Half Life, I mean, uh, Skyrim or Half Life, or Skyrim being on the list, or whatever, leave a comment below as well. You can also tweet me at Rhyme Style. And, and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I hope everybody wants to jump into this debate because debates are fun and everybody loves games. And, you know, you just, you just have a bunch of fun stuff. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking. Vegeta just got blown up, so I'm, I'm leaving. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video guys, and until next time. That was fun! It's been a long time since I've had to try.